All right, man, Torture Talk, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Wake up, wake up. You know what I'm saying? Wake up. I ain't get to shave. I'm sorry. Uh, I got all these salt and pepper. Somebody told me they like it. I don't like it. It's terrible. It's terrible. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it. But the show must go on. The Ugly Monkey Man with the ugly monkey hair, the gray silverback face guy. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Good morning to y'all out there, man. I really appreciate y'all being with me in the morning. I know some of y'all be sleeping and I wake up just to see my face. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. All right, look, man. So I seen a Pierce Morgan clip. Jagsman, Jaguar right? Jaguar right. Let me get it right. Jaguar right is speaking on Jay-Z and Diddy. And there's some things she's saying here, and we're going to listen to it. And, yeah. <laughs> so, let me get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you are new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the single, beautiful ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. They over there. Just don't harass him. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, Cash App, PayPal is in the description. You know what it is. They call me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to almost a million. You know what I'm saying? And um, let me know where you're from, too, man. I seen somebody from, uh, a lot of people from Cali, man. I fuck with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Cali, you know, I love Cali, man. I love Cali. Fuck with y'all. So look. We're going to get into this clip, man. And um, yeah, so let's see what she got to say. And then um, we'll be back to discuss. <laughs> All right, so we back. Let's go, man. Let's go. About to hear, you'll be staggered. He avoided the attention of law enforcement for so long. I'll speak to a lawyer, a whistleblower, and an insider for an uncensored insight into the showbiz scandal of a generation. And Jaguar, I'm going to start with you. Um, you've been called a whistleblower. Um, you knew Sean Diddy Combs for a long time. You attended a number of his infamous parties. Um, and in 2022, you made headlines after comments uh, where you called him a sex trafficker. Uh, and in response, you were called crazy and jealous. Uh, do you feel vindicated yes. by the events of the last few weeks? No, not at all. Um, uh, because he's just the beginning until him and his cohorts are all held to account publicly and legally, the victims, they're not safe. Okay, so let me just say this, because uh, <laughs> mm, I know y'all not gonna like my take on this. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm not laughing at the victims. I'm not. Y'all know that by now. Y'all know me. I'll get serious. But everything she's saying right now is already known. Everything she's saying right now is just like she ain't saying nothing new. We all know this. It's not like she discovered the wheel. So let's just put that in perspective. I want y'all to understand. I'm just going to go into it with y'all. I didn't see this interview. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go in it, go in this interview with y'all. And I'm going to give my take on certain things she say, certain things she don't say. Because if I know, I've seen a couple of her interviews before, and she was wrong about a lot of stuff. But two, be, two things could be right at the same time. I want y'all to understand this. You know what I'm saying? Just because she's saying it and it's happening doesn't mean that she was the one that told you. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. It's like somebody throwing shit at the wall to hit a bullseye and a piece of it hits the bullseye. And they say, see, I told you. That's what some people do. They just throw a bunch of shit out there. And if they get one thing right, it's like they betting across the board. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to win if they bet across the board. At least once they're going to win. So I'm under the impression that that's what she does a lot. You know what I'm saying? So maybe she can prove me wrong today. But let's go. How how bad was That's it? That's what I care about. I care about the victims. No, I understand. How bad was it, do you think, what was going on? 
I'm going to tell you right now that me, as a woman who has been in the industry for over 30 years, um, I've been performing live since I was 13. My first handler was McKinley Horton. Um, I come to find out 25 years later that a scar that was on his face with a very elaborate story he gave me was put there by a woman who he assaulted. Okay, so now let's stop right there, right? I looked up the guy, McKinley Horton, from she said something about him before, and I looked it up, right? And I couldn't find any anywhere where he uh, uh, assaulted anybody. Maybe maybe I was looking at the wrong name. It says something about in um in in New Jersey, but it's a lot of those people with the same names. But I couldn't place to who it really was. You know what I'm saying? Now, what she's saying right here, she's saying that come to find out it was a scar put there by a woman who was sexually assaulted or essayed, right? But here's the thing. How do we know that? And I'm not saying that this didn't happen. I'm just asking questions. How do we know what she's saying is actually legit? Because if the person that that's happened to, if there's no documentation of it, how do we even know that that is even true? That what she's saying, she could just be saying that because first of all, people are already not going to say nothing to her or about her because everybody already thinks that she's a conspiracy theorist. So she has a, she kind of has a get out of free jail card because she could just say whatever and people not going to pay her no mind. So when she says stuff like, oh, this guy has a scar on his face from, from a, a, an assault from someone 20 years later after she found this out 20 years later, how do we know if she's telling the truth? We don't know. We only know what she says. Are we going to take her word for it? Now, a lot of y'all probably say, yes, we will take her word for it because look what happened. Look what happened to Diddy. Again, Two things could be right at the same time because just because she said it, she could have been throwing stuff at the wall. That's all I'm saying. To live through these things and hear your elders, elders in the business, people like Patty LaBelle say, just avoid him, honey. Again, how do we know Patty said that to you? How do we know that? We have to take your word for it. It did, it did. How do we know she really said that to you? We only know that you're saying that she said that and you're calling names. Now, I don't know if Patty LaBelle may see this and she may come out and say it's true or she may come out and say it's not true. Maybe it did happen. I don't know. But I, I need to see the, the records of her saying this to you because, again, all right, look. I know y'all seen the movie Scarface, right? There was actually no, there was actually no guy named Scarface. There was no guy named Scarface, but they made it up. They worked. What they did was, they worked between the truths with a lie. You know what I'm saying? They made up a guy to work between the truths. The other people, some of the people in the movie, the enemies he was going against or whatever, they were real people, but he was in real. This is what I believe that she does. She works between the lies. Now, I'm not saying that she's lying. I'm saying that she works between the, I mean, between the truth with certain things where you can't really prove it. You can't prove what she's saying. You can't prove that Patty LaBelle said that to her. How are you going to prove that? Even if Patty came out and said she said that to her, you still can't prove that she said it unless you've seen it with your own two eyes. That's it. Um and being taught to be a, just avoid him, honey. It's not good enough. Not when you live through these things, you're still suffering the PTSD created by all of this, and you're talking to a victim that's 20 years younger than you, and she's telling you the exact same thing that happened to you. This is what I'm saying. What happened to you, though? Every time I see her interview, she always saying something, but she never, maybe I didn't see the right interview. Maybe I didn't see the right one. Maybe y'all can link it to me and I can review that and I'll come back on here and I'll say, you know what? Y'all was right. 
but I haven't seen no interview with her telling her story about how what they did to her. Only thing I see her saying that all these things is happening, but she don't give no details. Maybe she don't have to give details because for some people, just saying it is good enough. But I don't know. I haven't seen the interviews. So if you guys have the interviews of her and don't send me no garbage, don't send me nothing and be like, yeah, this interview she said. No, I need to hear her say this guy did this to me this day, that day. And he did this. That's what I need to hear, because you can't you nobody can't get on here and say none of y'all can't get on here and say, well, Maybe she's afraid to tell her story because she's on everybody telling everybody all this stuff. But I haven't seen anything that she actually said that this happened to her and pointed out when, who did it and why they did it and how they did it. That's what I need to hear. That's what I need to hear. I'm sorry. I need to hear that. So you want to know why there's no vindication for me? Because for four years, I've been screaming, not just Diddy, but Diddy and Jay-Z are monsters. And the victim-making machine kept going on. Again, I need some evidence, lady. I, we, got, we, got some, we got some with Diddy, right? We could side with you on that one a little bit. We got some with Diddy. But when it comes to Jay... I need some evidence because you're saying that Jay's a monster, right? Now, let me get to, I want to, I want to be clear here. I want y'all to understand something. Jay could be a monster, right? He could be a monster, but truth be told, have you ever heard anybody besides her say that Jay is a monster? Have you heard anybody? I'm sure that if he's such a monster, there's someone out there that could come forward and say he's a monster. Where's this monster at? Like, where? Th this is what I mean. Like, you you can't just say stuff and then take people word at people word at it. Like, oh yeah, I'm saying this, and they're gonna believe me. And then what happens is they find something on Jay Z, right? Let's just say they find something on him. Then she takes all the credit. Be like, oh yeah, told y'all. Did you really tell us? You just threw some shit out there. they hoping it sticks, and then it sticks. 20 years later, it could be 50 years from now. And you could say, yeah, I, threw so I said it 50 years ago, and no one believed me. But the story you told, you just gave a general consensus of something. You didn't even tell us what actually happened and how he was a monster. You just said, he's a monster. That it could be, he could be a monster to you, but he could be lovable to everybody else. But we need some details. Every time I hear her interview, she give these things, but she never give no details. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like she just says these shocking things. That's just me. I question everything, especially being black, because I feel like they're trying to work against us, no matter how how they do it. Any black man. Whether you Diddy or whoever, they trying to get us out of here. That's how I look at it. So when you got people saying these things, I need to, I need some confirmation that Diddy, that um, um, Jay Z's a monster. I need the confirmation. I can't just go off of you saying he a monster because he didn't say hi to you that day, or he didn't speak to you the way you would like him to speak to you. I need some confirmation. If you ain't gonna give that, then don't bring his name up. Jay-Z has been notable by his silence since uh, these charges were brought against Diddy. Why do you think that is? What, 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 what does Jay-Z have to say, though? This is what I mean. It's like y'all want to lump people together. What, what does Jay-Z have to say? Okay, you say, well, Jay was at the parties. Well, what, from what I'm hearing, Obama was at the party, too. From what I'm hearing, it was a bunch of people at the parties. Why you ain't asking why they not saying nothing? It was a bunch of people. Why it has to be Jay-Z? Why do we have to, why do we have to question why hasn't Jay-Z came out and said nothing? Why haven't all these other celebrities came out and say anything? All these other people that are, that are arguably just as big as Jay or even bigger or even more important. <laughs> 
because that's what he does, he starts little fires everywhere, forces everyone involved to go and carry water while he sneaks away without a response that changes now, Sean. But get the fuck out of here, bro. Get that shit the fuck out of here, bro. Get that shit the fuck out of here. Get that shit all the way the fuck out of here. That just sounds like some scripted shit that she just thought of right then and there. Y'all don't, y'all, if y'all believe that, that's crazy. And I'm being honest. I'm just gonna keep it. This is torture talk. I'm gonna keep it honest. That's crazy that she would even think of all that off the fly. I could read her eyes and see that she just thought of that right away. He asked you a simple question. Why didn't Jay-Z come out and say something against Diddy? She go going into elaborate uh, poetry shit. What the fuck are you talking about? You could easily just said, yeah, because he's in on it. <laughs> That's it. Because he starts a little fires and he go around and then he does this and, and he's a magician and he disappears like a genie. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, come on, man. You must respond. You have no choice. Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Robert Kelly, Sean Combs have one person in common, professionally and privately, Sean Carter. I, I, yo, <laughs> listen, first of all, first of all, the, the first two is a reach. Let's be clear, because Epstein, if you want to bring up Epstein, everybody was around that nigga. Let's get that clear. So you can't say everybody, are oh, you naming these five people? Everybody was around him. And then you saying Weinstein, I don't really know if, if, if Jay, I haven't seen it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they took a picture together. But I don't know if they were really connected like that. I don't know. And as far as, uh, as far as, uh, 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 R. Kelly. Yeah, R. Kelly and Jay-Z had, had two albums together. But they had a falling out. We don't know why. Jay didn't fuck with R. Kelly after, after a while. I don't know why. We can assume maybe because he found out some shit. Who knows? But they didn't, they had a bad breakup. It wasn't like, oh man, they still mess around with each other. Nah. Let's just keep that clear. And then Diddy and Jay, Diddy and Jay wasn't as close as y'all think. Like everybody's saying, oh, they, now they're trying to lump Diddy and Jay together. Was they really that close? Was Diddy and Jay really that close? Maybe it was big, but was Diddy and Jay really that close? I even heard I've been hearing theories that <laughs> that Jay had something to do with Big getting deleted because he wanted to take over New York. You niggas be making up anything. Anything. Jay-Z stays out of the limelight. He doesn't say nothing. I'm not saying that Jay-Z doesn't do anything behind closed doors. I ain't saying that. What we're saying is what we know. We got to go off what we know. She's not a, she, she claims she's an insider and she's seen these things, but she's not giving no details of these things. She's just saying she's seen these things. We need, we need, if you're an insider, like she said, she's, she's already a whistleblower. She said, might as well just start saying, well, this person did this to this person. Oh, I don't want to affect the victims. Okay, that's cool. And I respect that. But you need to be a little more transparent because for me, you really ain't doing being that transparent. You just connect the names together and say, all these people, they have one person in common and that's Jay-Z. It's like, what? <laughs> what, the, what? Like, come on, man. <laughs> this has been a fist of tyranny that has been punching through our culture and our society for decades. It must stop. There's been obviously a Cruelty lot of- Cruelty-free artistry. Right, there's been a lot of uh, rumor mill about what has happened in the rap world. A lot of allegations that the misogyny in the lyrics clearly was based on mm. a general misogyny towards women away from them. Wait a minute. All right, I'm gonna call bullshit on that. First of all, let's be clear here, right? Rap music has always been rap music. It's for you to say, and I, get, and I understand what he's saying. 
because it is true, but it was accepted. It was accepted. You cannot go back and change history. You was probably saying, not you, Pierce, but it were people in your circle or people around you saying bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Yeah, you was there. You were saying all those things. So, so was she. All those hit songs that was misogynist. You know what I'm saying? Rooted in misogyny. Yeah, y'all was supporting that. Y'all was doing all that. What happened then? Nobody wanted to. Nobody wanted to challenge the the uh, the, uh, the 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 higher ups, the record execs, to tell them, look, you shouldn't be allowing them to say these things that's destroying the black community. Y'all was all cool with it then. Everybody was cool with it, but now y'all all of a sudden want to use it against us now. You made money off of it, and now you want to use it against us. How crazy is that? All of this, all this, oh, rap music's been bad for people. They've been, all they do is talk about niggas and shooting guns and all this. But y'all was cool with us doing all that. All the, all these record execs, what kills me about this, and I'm not coming down on the Jewish community. It's just the record execs. Most of them are Jewish. Let's be clear here. And I'm going to be honest. They don't have a problem with you calling each other niggas. They don't have a problem with you calling bitches, black women bitches and hoes. Money, cars, and clothes. They don't have a problem with none of that as long as they making the money off of it. But you say anything about them, you anti-Semitic. That's all I'm saying. So when he says stuff like that, I just don't get it. I don't get how, how you try to say oh it's been rooted in misogyny <laughs> y'all was cool with it y'all didn't try to stop it when it first started the money was rolling in and now the money's not rolling in like it was and now y'all trying to take down the whole thing oh rap music is negative it's been negative not all of it but the ones that y'all promote it's been negative and y'all didn't have no problem with it then Music. And that clearly seems to have been borne out by these charges against Diddy, which if he's found guilty of all this, he's never coming out of prison. How dangerous do you think... Thank God. How dangerous do you think he is as a person? I think he's one of the most dangerous people I've ever met. A lot of people have been questioning, well, she doesn't really know him. She has no knowledge of him. She doesn't have a picture with him. I'm smarter than Claudia Jordan. I would never take a picture with the devil. Everyone knew. Okay, so now I got to look up Claudia Jordan. Now I got to look her up. Because if she, if she said her name like that, that must mean that there is something between those two that basically they disagreeing about. Because she clearly said that woman's name. And she said it as a shock. I'm smarter than Claudia Jordan. I don't take a picture with the devil. I'm smarter with Claudia. Cla you, but you were around the devil, though. You did things around the devil. You attended the party with the devil. That's according to your words. You said that. Now, maybe maybe you got kicked out. Who knows? Maybe you felt like you was shouldn't have been there. I don't know. But you can't say that she's dumb and you are intelligent when you were doing the same thing. In a certain case. He was the devil. He's been the devil for 30 years. He's been covered and protected by not only Clive Davis, but Lucian Grange. He was selected to be the demon that he is to keep the culture in line so the industry could continue to rape it for all of its precious. Bro, you ain't saying nothing that I just did not say already. Oh, my God, bro. You ain't saying nothing new. You ain't saying nothing new. If you are talking like that, I can understand. But this ain't nothing new. What are you talking about? This is like regular shit. <laughs> oh, he's been protected by Lucian Grange and Clyde Davis, and they selected him to be the demon that he is, and he is doing... This is all hyperbolic, just over-the-top sensationalism, what you're doing. We all know 
that these guys are protected. Now, we don't know what from because you ain't giving us no tangible evidence or like we okay we can say that things happen you know what i'm saying because we have seen it we have seen things but from what you are saying right now everybody knows this already is you ain't telling us nothing new like come on jules we have too many lost the list of lost is ridiculous and everyone knows diddy was selected for this job for what job <laughs> what job was he selected for you just giving us these general broad answers i get we all know what happened with diddy and i don't jump in the comments talking about so well you already know we know what happened with diddy we know we know what the what the fed said we know we know what they said you know what i'm saying but I'm saying if you're if she's out here giving these stories, she need to provide some evidence because when you talk to people like this and they give a that's like somebody saying they were somewhere. Right. Yeah, I was there. I was I was there. And what they do is they wasn't never there. I'm not saying she wasn't. I'm just saying they wasn't never there. And they give you the piece of a story that they heard. So they piece together 10 stories. It's like somebody that never seen a movie and say, y'all seen that movie? It's kind of trash. And be like, yeah, but they seen a review of the movie. They didn't even see the movie. They seen the review. So most people, when they listen to her, they go and say, oh, uh, Diddy's this guy, bad guy. But you say, well, how is he a bad guy? Well, I listen to Jaguar Wright. She said he a bad guy. She was in the industry. Yeah, that's it. But I listen, I'm not definitely not saying he ain't because y'all already know how I feel about Diddy. He is a bad guy. I'm just questioning, I'm pushing, giving her some pushback because to me, it just sounds like she's just spewing out a bunch of things that couldn't be uh, taken a, a hundred different ways. Giving us these poetry runs. Like, come on, man. He's the Judas. Do you think that if he's cornered in the way that he's been now? For this job. He's the Judas. All right, so look, I, I, maybe it's me. I don't know, maybe it's me. But if they appointed him to be the Judas, from what I'm hearing and what I read, maybe I read it wrong, but Judas was the guy who betrayed Jesus. So who did, did he portray if he's the Judas? Who did he portray? Because that's who Judas is, right? Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Did he betray the community? Did he betray the people? I don't know. Why would you use that term? You say he's the devil, then say he's the Judas. They're two different people in the Bible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, maybe I'm, just, maybe I'm reaching. I don't know. Y'all tell me. Do you think that if he's cornered in the way that he's been now, that he may start revealing things about other people? He has no choice. His ego and his drug addiction won't allow him to do anything different. Uh, Anybody wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> what are you saying? Like, listen to what she just said. He asked her, he said, do you think he'll start giving up people or whatever? And she said he has no choice. His drug addiction and his ego won't allow him. Would allow him? You just said he has no choice but to give people up. Now you're saying his drug and ego won't allow him to do it. Which one is it? I'm, maybe I'm tripping. Let me listen to that again, because maybe I'm tripping. He has no choice. Do you think that if he's cornered in the way that he's been now, that he may start revealing things about other people? He has All no right. So he said, if you think he's cornered, <laughs> like he is now, and he, do you think he'll start revealing things about other people? And here's her answer. No choice. He has his no choice. His ego and his, his ego, drug addiction drug won't addiction allow him won't allow to do him. anything different. <laughs> Wait a minute. So, okay. So you're saying his ego and a drug addiction won't allow him to do anything different. So you're basically saying, so, okay, I. Right. So basically what she's saying is, what she's saying is he has no choice because his ego and his drug addiction is going to make him tell on everybody. That's what she's saying. But if you are, if he's in prison, Maybe you could get drugs in prison, but let's just say argument for argument's sake, 
he ain't getting no drugs in prison. If he's in prison, he has a clear mind. You know what I'm saying? He has a clear mind. And we don't really know if, if, if Puffy is addicted to drugs. We don't know. We haven't seen, we haven't seen him, I, at least I have not seen him, and he don't look like he's addicted to drugs. Now, I know people are going to say, oh, listen, I was a drug tester for five years. I never did drugs in my life, but I was a tester, and I know what people look like when they're on drugs. Now, maybe he's doing some other shit. Who knows? Maybe he's doing some shit that we never even heard of. Who knows? Maybe he's doing the billionaire, the billionaire uh, drug. Who knows? But I'm just saying. For what I see, he doesn't look like he has a drug addiction. He keeps himself very, uh, very up, up keep. He has a very good upkeep, and he looked like he gained weight. And he looked like he, I know people gonna say, "Well, just because you gain weight doesn't mean." Listen, bro, you smoking crack? You ain't you ain't gaining a big belly. You, your teeth gonna be rotten and all that. Maybe you got money to get it fixed. Who knows? We could keep going back and forth on that. I'm just saying. When she said he's addicted to he's addicted to drugs, he's not on drugs now, so he has a clear mind. Correct. So let's just see what else she says. Anybody who thinks he's not going to talk is crazy. The simple fact that he's not saying more now only means that the people who have been protecting him all along, who put him in position to be such a horror to the black community, still find value. Don't do that. Nah, I'm not going to let you slide with that one, Jag a Jaguar. You ain't going to, you're not going, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. You're not going to try to, you're not going to try to pin Diddy on the black community, bro. Don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? I would even argue that you can't pin that on the black community when it comes to Diddy. And let's be clear here. I know y'all going to be trying, a lot of y'all going to say whatever, but we ain't talking about contract. Diddy did a lot for the black community. Let's be clear. He did a lot for black hip hop. He did a lot for black music. And it, it, period. He employed a lot of black people. Now, I know he's a monster. I know he's a monster. But you can't get that off. You can't get that off on him. You can't. He did a lot for black people, period. You know what I'm saying? Now, we don't know who these victims are, and I feel sorry for them. We don't know who they are. But I'm just saying, he did a lot for the black community. A whole lot. Can't take that away from him him he's got everybody on tape they all know it so when you say he got everybody on tape that must mean that he's not the only one correct so if he has everybody on tape that means that there's more people he's not the only one and i'm not saying she's saying that i'm just saying me personally for those who were never at these freak-off parties, what were they like? Mm. See, this is the thing. Everything that I'm about to say to you is not my first-hand knowledge. It is my first-hand witness account experience. What the fuck does that even mean, bro? <laughs> Yo, get the fuck out of here, bro. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Everything I'm about to say to you is not my firsthand knowledge. What, what she proceeds to say is her firsthand knowledge experience. So you're just saying the same thing. You're saying the same thing. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm looking. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm doing the Kendrick on her and then trying to deep dive on shit. But I need to, let me hear, let me hear this again. Let me hear that again. Thing that I'm about to say to you is not my first-hand knowledge it is my first-hand witness account experience okay so you saying you saying it's your first-hand witness account experience so you're basically saying that it's someone else who witnessed this that's what you're saying your witness account experience or you saying it's your witness you you witnessed it and it's your account and your experience but when you say in witness, you're a you're a witness account. So basically, I don't know if you if somebody's working for you or working under you, and you're saying this is my witness account. I don't know. Or you saying it's my account, like my witness account, like me. I need to understand that. I was a sex worker. I was a dominatrix before I got my record deal. Oh my God, bro. Come on, bro. Oh my God, bro. Uh-uh, bro. Nah. 
Nah, bro. Uh-uh, bro. Uh-uh. Y'all got me on a dummy mission right now. Now we on a dummy mission. Nah, 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 nah. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You, yo, the pot call, you cannot do it. You can't do it. Again, like I said in the beginning, two things could be right at the same time. If you are, if you are a part of it or were a part of it, now you out of it, you can't, you can't separate yourself from it. Not to say that you didn't do anything or you did do anything, but you were a part of it. You were part of the problem. Maybe you had some, uh, a turn, uh, 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 what they call it. Maybe you had a, a, a turnover, a new leaf, who knows, but you got to understand it's called universal precautions, right? When you go to serve someone, whether it's a doctor and or nurse, you put on gloves because you treat everybody as if they were infected. You were infected. You can't, you can't just put all of this stuff on everybody else when you were a part of the problem. You just admitted that you were a part of the problem. You admitted it. I was a sex worker. You were a part of the problem. That's how I know how the dark world and the sex world and the entertainment world run hand in hand. That's why the movie Blink Twice is so important. Salute to Zoe Kravitz. Ah, oh, come on, bro. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get up out of here with this, bro. I ain't trying to hear this, bro. I'm not trying to hear this, this advertisement. I'm not trying to hear this, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, man. Her, it's so many, it's so many different. Her story, her story right now to me, I would even argue that on other shows, she sound a little more credible. But on here, she doesn't sound credible at all. She just sounds like somebody who just wants a, 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 a piece or a moment in the sun right now, bro. That's it. And I know a lot of y'all probably disagree. I know a lot of y'all probably agree with her. That's cool. We here's what we here for. We here to agree to disagree. And we all here to, to give out give out opinion about it. That's it. You don't like it? You know what I'm saying? I might not like what you say, but I respect it. That's how it that's what it is here. Over here. I don't know about everybody else, but over here, that's what we do. So for her to say all this on this show, it just sounds, it just sounds choreographed. It sounds this just sounds like something that she just pulled out of her ass. Like real quick. And we still haven't gotten why Jay Z's a monster. You said he's a monster. We haven't gotten why. The sex workers that I have worked with throughout the years and continue to work with even to this day have worn hidden cameras. Bro, get the fuck. Yo, listen, bro. Listen, bro. I, and I know y'all, a lot of y'all, y'all, this shit flying over niggas' heads, right? I mean, I'm just going to be clear here, man, because I think that this is I think this is very important, right? The sex workers, you're you're basically. And I'm not saying that people shouldn't be defended, right? Whatever you a sex worker. If you emerge yourself in, in a certain environment, you knows what comes with it. You know what I'm saying? A crackhead or a recovering crackhead is not going to go chill at a crack house and not think that people ain't going to be smoking around them. You know what I'm saying? That's how it goes. You know what you're getting yourself into. This is the life. You're saying that you work with sex workers and the sex work, you, you do, do know, and this, and this is another thing that no one wants to talk about, sex work is illegal in the United States, except for Vegas. But in the United States, in, in general, it's illegal. So when you say these things as if this is something legal, you are, you are on the wrong side, too. You're not on the right side. You're on the wrong side. You're doing the same things. The sex workers I work with, they wore hidden cameras. <laughs> okay? But they're going into it as a sex worker. For someone who has sex for money. It's, there's nothing moral about that. Why, why do we always have to have this thing where it's like, we got to put everything on everybody else? Oh, they're, it's like one person only could be blamed for something. No, it could be everybody. They could all be blamed. You are part of it. And to, right now, she's even admitting that she's still in it. The sex workers I work with, they wore hidden cameras. All right. 
I have my own tapes. I've seen what they do. The ritualistic behaviors, the drugging, putting girls in the suitcases. Dumping them in alleyways. It's 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 horrifying. <clears throat> All right, so let's look. You said they put girls in suitcases and dumped them in alleyways. That's that is such an easy Google search that we can look it up and see all the girls who were found in suitcases in alleyways in America. We can look that up. It's not like people can't. I ain't going to look it up now because I, I don't have my computer in front of me. But still in all, we can look it up. Now, if it turns out, I'll come back on here and say, yo, she was right. But if it doesn't, I'm going to come back on here raising hell. Simple as that. But we can look that up. But she's saying that they were, but again, this is, she's just giving a general thing because if, if we was to go look it up, we found a girl, rest in peace to her if, if, if this is real, we found a girl in a suitcase in the alleyway, she could say, yeah, I told you. But how we know that was from them? How we know? We don't. But we just going to take a word for it because she said it. That's, a, that, that's like me saying, hey, man, go down that alleyway, go and get shot. And then you don't go down the alleyway. 20 years later, you go down the alleyway and you get shot. And I say to you, see, I told you. Yeah, that's that's to me. That's how I look at her. Just say things out, just saying it. And then say, yeah, it happens. Well, let's see. Let's see what she, oh, she got to say. And it's all done under the protection of. This is going to be paid off. There's another NDA. This is going to be it's terrible. It seems to have been something that people, a lot of people knew about, but people were simply too scared knows. to talk about. Everyone knows. Everyone doesn't know. Because if everyone knows, they will tell. That should be clear here. Everyone knows, but if everyone didn't know, it's like, listen, man, let me explain something to y'all. No matter which way you color it, no matter which way you try to dice it slice it diddy is a black man in america i let's just be clear he's a black man in america the only reason why he probably gets the the uh maybe the protection is because he has something on everybody trust and believe if he didn't have something on everybody he'd be out of here he would have been out of here that's the only reason why and you have to ask yourself this too. Why haven't they, if they have Diddy, but they have all the tapes of all these other people, why haven't they talked about the other people? Why haven't, why haven't the feds brought up all the other people? One of the dudes said, one of the lawyers said that he said that Diddy, that they have someone that's more powerful and popular than Diddy. Why you ain't say that name? What are we waiting for? Because it's all a game. Okay, we got Diddy. And let's see if very, it could either flip him on everybody or everybody flip on him. Not really caring about taking it down, taking everybody down. It's more the lines of we could get one and that's it. But we ain't going to change the system. Going to leave it the way it is because there's too many people have their money in too many other people's pockets. And every person that's sitting there trying to act surprised knows very well. The whole point of this, like Cat Williams said when he sat with Shay Shay earlier this year, the whole point of this is for them in a coordinated effort to pretend like none of it is real for the public's perception. But everyone knows what's going on. Now, I will take Cat Williams' story over hers because he was given details. That's it. What she does is she, what I'm thinking she does, is she pulls stories from place. She's like, she's like AI. 
She pulls stories from places and, and then gives it to you. Doesn't mean it, but she's saying that she was in it. She still ain't giving no details. Just giving these, these vague answers. In a poetic way. At that. <laughs> going on and it's been going on for years it's been going on before diddy see people keep looking at him like he's the sputnik that came out of nowhere this is someone who was designed to be what he is we got to stop making ditties and if we're going to do that then we got to go back we got to go back to even further the mentors of these people but you but uh... Again, it's like you slapping us in the face because you are were a sex worker. And on top of that, you still working with the sex workers. So how are you sitting here saying society has to change when you ain't even trying to change the sex workers that you're working with? <laughs> I don't understand it. They're wearing hidden cameras. Maybe I'm wrong. From what I understand, maybe in certain courts you can't use that. But I don't know if that's even true, what she's saying. I don't know that. I don't know. And now you're saying you basically giving up the workers. You're saying you work, you work with the sex workers and they're wearing hidden cameras. So now whoever's dealing with a sex worker, they're going to make sure they ain't got on no hidden cameras? <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's go. Because Diddy was taught how to do what he does systematically. And Clyde Davis has been his greatest teacher. Look, I've... Clive Davis is not here to respond to that, nor is Jay-Z. Um, but a lot of people, famous people in the music industry, have been notable, like I say, by their silence so far. It's also been notable that since the Me Too campaign began in 2017, the music industry has largely, largely avoided the same scrutiny that other industries have had. Why do you think that is? I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear that. The, the, since Me Too began in 2017, the music industry yes. has largely avoided the same kind of scrutiny that other industries have had. Why do you think oh, that yeah. is? Well, because the Me Too movement was a ruse. It was a setup. It was a scam. I'm saying that now, publicly. Uh, Dream sure. Hampton spearheaded the surviving R. Kelly campaign, which full, it, it fueled the Me Too campaign. And that was all funded by Sean Carter to make sure that Robert Kelly went to jail. Y'all already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Y'all already know what I'm going to say, man. Y'all already know what I'm going to say. Just get back, let's take it back to what she said. All these people got somebody in common is, is him. Now, was you saying that in a negative way or positive way? But you now you're saying that that he put R. Kelly in prison. Why would he do that? Why, if Jay-Z is such a monster, why would he put R. Kelly in prison? You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't he chill be chilling with R. Kelly? Because R. Kelly's a monster too, right? Get his lick back. Why is back. nobody understanding that Dream Hampton was being financed and ran by Sean Carter. They were able to go and get all of these witnesses because he was there with Robert Kelly. How? But how does that make him a monster? Okay, if Robert Kelly was the, was the, uh, 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 the, the, you know the guy. I don't want to say it out loud. You know what I'm saying? The, the child, the child, the, the PDF. If he was the PDF, right? And Jay-Z got all these people to testify against him to get off the street. How does that make Jay-Z a monster? How? And maybe she's going to explain that part. Because that's what's blowing my mind. You basically just said that he got his lick back. What, what lick from what? What was his lick for? does Jay-Z sit down with Gail King and she not ask him one question about the intersection between him and Aaliyah and Robert Kelly? This is insane that people keep refusing. Wait a minute. What do you mean an intersection between him and Aaliyah? What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. From what I understand, maybe I'm tripping. 
From what I understand, Aaliyah, when 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 uh was when she was messing with R. Kelly when they got married or whatever, she was, I believe she was uh uh 16 or something like that. 17, 16. You know what I'm saying? They saying they got married, they saying the birth the wedding to get the mom and them, they knew. Whatever, right? I believe when she started dealing with Jay or start messing with Jay or whatever, she was 20. What was the lick back for? And before that, she was messing with Dame Dash. So I believe she was 19 or 20 when she was messing with Jay. When they started, I don't know if they was messing around, but whatever. And I believe he was like 27 or something like that. Right? So what, when, when was he messing with her? Was Jay-Z messing with her before Dame Dash? Because I totally could believe, I totally knew that Dame Dash, I seen Dame Dash with her in pictures and he was crying when she passed away. But I ain't never see no thing with her and Jay. Never seen her and I never seen them together like that. Maybe y'all can show me a link. I don't know. But I know for sure she was Dame. It was Dame. That was Dame's girl. And R. Kelly was messing with her when she was 16. But after that, um, I don't, I don't, I don't know what she's talking about. Getting a, his lick back for for her. Like, what does that mean? Like, how are you connecting that to him? Like, I don't get it. To see what's right there. Do if the think- Me Too movement were real, why aren't they speaking now? They've also been very quiet in this time of the Diddler's downfall. Jaguar. Guess they're on vacation. If this goes to court, Jaguar, do you think the the world is going to be shocked by what comes out? Oh, absolutely. I just don't know why they are. It's been happening in front of everyone's faces for decades. For decades. This is a performance, man. How many? This is a performance, man. This this chick is putting on a performance. I don't believe nothing she's saying now. I'm sorry. I don't. Y'all could listen, bro. We could fight in the comments. I don't care. I don't believe nothing she's saying, bro. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that these people ain't bad people because they are. And I, I would believe just thinking that they're bad people over her. You know what I'm saying? She's just putting on a performance. That's what I look at. She's, she's really putting on a performance. I, it just sounds like she lying. It just sounds like she just, as she go along, she's just saying these things. You know what I'm saying? Now, she might have maybe one or two things that happen and she knows them. But again, people sensationalize, they, they sensationalize the lies. That's it. But let me keep it going and I'm going to end this. Victims. What's the difference between me and Judy Garland? Social media. How, how many victims? There was none for her. How many, mm-hmm. how many victims potentially do you think there could be? Thousands. Thousands. I've talked to hundreds. Thousands of victims. I'm calling cat. Thousands of victims. We saying, what we, he said, like, again, again, I'm not shitting on the victims. If it happened to you, I apologize. And, and hope everything gets better for you. Excuse me. Let's just remove that for a second. But let's talk about when he says victims, right? You have to be specific when you say victims, because a lot of times people will say they're a victim of something. And they really, they might to you and me, it might not be you're really a victim of something. Like, for example, you have this thing called reckless eyeballs, right? And let's just say, some girl walk by and I look like, oh my God, damn. And they said that they considered themselves a victim because I, I, they felt like I sexually assaulted them or whatever. That's the type of things that happens. Or I might've said some, oh, your hair looks nice. Oh, he's flirting with me. I'm a victim. And if y'all don't believe that people do stuff like that, y'all crazy. I worked at a, I worked at a hospital, a psych hospital for 22 years and trust me when i tell you that not even the, the this the patient the workers used to make up stuff i don't know if the patients was rubbing off on <laughs> that i deal with still myself i have three victims right now 
who are willing to give testimony about not only what Mr. Carter has done to them, but his wife as well. They're a nasty little couple. They do nasty things. <sighs> you have three victims right now who's willing to testify against <laughs> against uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce. They're three victims who's willing to testify. No one's coming out and, and black in their face, you know what I'm saying, and talking to Pierce Morgan, but they're talking to you. And you're going on TV and saying you have three victims, right? But none of them are going out and saying, well, maybe I should talk to the press. Maybe I could get my story. Maybe I'll get protected. But nobody will come forward. But you will come forward and say this. What do you think happened with Kim Keeping Paul? people against their will. Hmm. Putting people on planes while they're unconscious. Just like Aaliyah got on that plane. Oh, nah. Unconscious. She, she bugging. I never read that nowhere. Maybe I'm tripping. Was Aaliyah on the plane unconscious? But didn't she, didn't Aaliyah die in a plane crash, right? It, 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 I, maybe I'm tripping. If she was on the plane unconscious, how would we know if she died in a plane crash? How would we know that she got on a plane unconscious? How would she know that she got on a plane unconscious i want to say that because i don't know i from what i remember she believes she died in a plane crash correct so i need to understand this because this is what we're talking about when y'all watching reality tv and y'all think it's reality but there are cameras everywhere even in places that they never been for example if they go into a store and they never been in the store, how the hell did the cameras get in there? Well, it must have been set up that way. So what I'm saying about her is when she's making up these things, you're not going to know if she was unconscious, if she died in a plane crash. How would you not have known that? Who told you that? And if they told you that, how you know they know? She was unconscious on a plane in a plane crash. Now, I don't know if, this, if, if there was an autopsy report and they pulled up to say that she was something. I don't know. But if she died in a plane crash, how would you know that she was unconscious when she got on the plane? How would you know? How would you have known that? There's a lot of things that people don't want to talk about. Years. Listen, like I said, Jay Z and Beyonce are not here, uh, unfortunately, to respond to that. I know. Um, I, I'm just being honest with you. You're perfectly entitled to your to your views, obviously. Uh, Kim Porter. Yes. A new book claims that Diddy may have been involved in her early death. What do you think of that? I, I think. Huh? Wait a minute. <laughs> All right, I'm so confused too about that. Say, so Kim Porter wrote a book. And the book says that Diddy may be involved in her early death. But she's dead. And the book comes out. Now, what she's saying, he she believes that he's trying to kill her. And then she dies. Is that what happened? I don't know. I'm just asking. Because that seems kind of weird to me. That someone would write a book about their death. I, I just don't understand it people should really look into that more. I am friends with Albie Shore. I love him, I love his children. I, I knew Kim. We used to all hang out together at the Kit Kat Club back in the mid 90s when Diddy was first starting his reign. I watched that whole thing happen. And everything that Albert has been through, every attempt on his life that has been ignored, by the authorities it all leads back to Diddy and everyone knows it 
the wiretapping of the phones, putting air tag on children during visits. These are normal practices. Man, I don't know about all that, man. <laughs> that right there is out of control. How is how did he wiretap somebody's phone? Like, you know, you know, you know the the the, the feds have to go through to wiretap somebody? We're talking about the feds, the federal government. You know what they have to do to wiretap somebody? And you're saying that he's doing that. And you then you're also saying that he's putting air tags on people's kids. What? How does that even make sense? He putting an air tag on people's kids so he'll know where the kids is at? How would how the kid not know where there's an air tag on them? I don't understand that. And if and if if the parents and stuff was in on it, why would he have to put an air tag on them? Where did he put it at? In their clothes that they don't see? How would they know? I don't understand it. I, I'm I'm confused. I'm so confused practices that these people do. Jaguar, um, I've got to leave it there. I, I really appreciate you joining me. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for having me. And thank you for caring. I do care. Thank you very much. I do care. Uh, well, All right. Yeah, hey, man. She still hasn't get, and, and this is what I'm saying, man. And that, I told y'all, I told y'all, that's what she was going to do. She still has not, has not, has not gave any details of how Jay-Z's a monster. But she did go on and say that he Jay-Z had R. Kelly locked up. But why was R. Kelly locked up? Because of what? Oh, he wanted to get his lick back from Aaliyah. Huh? Then she said that Aaliyah was drugged and put on a plane. Well, who did that? Who did that? We don't know. But again, it's like, sound like a bunch of stories you're just throwing together. I'm just being honest. And I know a lot of y'all probably disagree. A lot of y'all live and die by what she says. I don't. Because I'm looking at it from the point of view of, there's a lot of holes in her stories. And again, I'm not saying that none of this didn't happen because it could have. I just would rather from another source because her source to me seems like it's all over the place. That's all I'm saying. But either way, man, that was a really good episode. So y'all go check that out, man. This is another, he got a couple other parts on there with her, with uh, talking to a couple other people, talking to a lawyer, and he also talked to uh, Vlad too. So good morning to y'all, man. This is a good show. Y'all make sure y'all uh, like, share, subscribe, man. Shout out to all the people who are new over here. Appreciate y'all, man. Shout out to all the donors, too. I appreciate y'all. Um, someone keeps telling me I should make some merch. I really don't know if I'm going to do that yet. You know what I'm saying? Maybe later on. But as of right now, I'm, I'm, I'm chilling on making the merch. You know what I'm saying? It was like, you should come out with some shades. I think that that would be fire. You know what I'm saying? If I was to make some, some different shades. You know what I'm saying? I think that that would be fire. It, and the thing is, would y'all buy them, though? So I'm selling them Jones for like twenty five dollars. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, twenty five and up. You know what I mean? Ain't gonna be no ten dollar shades on my John, cause I'm gonna make sure my Jones is lit. Trust and believe. So, either way, man, thank y'all for watching, man. Twelve o'clock show will be coming up. I love y'all out there, man. See y'all. Peace. Bye, man. <laughs>